Welcome back. It's time for the second half of UPM's Top 10 series. We're gonna start out with a bang. The interactive picture books. Us Born Books and More does these so well. You've probably heard of our Shine a Light series. You just shine a light behind the pictures and a secret is revealed on every single page. It's so much fun. These are non-fiction books with tons of great information, but they keep kids' interest by having these hidden pictures appear. Our Big Book collection is amazing. I specifically love Big Book of Colors with my preschooler. This is a great book because it starts out with a color wheel, so already they get to interact and engage with a page. On top of being able to do some Bloom's Taxonomy here of categorization, we can look at the back and use this transparent sheet to see what it does when colors are mixed. Time to Brush is in the similar series to All Better. All Better is the number one seller with Usborne Books and more. That one comes with five reusable band-aids. This one comes with five reusable toothbrushes. Don't forget to check out um, Time to, nope, Little Bear Needs Glasses and let me show you how this works. These books are truly, or these stickers are truly reusable. They're thick plastic. You rinse them with cold water if they get dirty and you can use them over and over again. There's a little rhyme in each book to help a child remember and get to chant it along as you read the story. Of course, the dog has a bone. This is Frog, This is Alan, This is Crab are truly interactive books as you are engaging with the narrator the whole way through. This one, this page has you jump by shaking the book up and down. Can you help Frog jump? Oh dear. Quick, let's follow him. Use your fingers to run up the page. The whole time you're interacting with these characters and their narrator and their super fun books. Lastly, have you heard of Nibbles? Emma Yarlett is an author from the UK and she is incredibly creative. She recently came out with a couple new books. One's called Dragon Post and it has five letters in it and this one's called Beast Feast. And Beast Feast is an adorable picture book, great for nighttime reading or playtime reading. It comes with these letters that fold out and fold down as Beast invites his friends to a Beast Feast and you'll have to see if they end up eating dinner or not. Number seven are our chapter books. And honestly, my best advice is to ask your consultant and give your kids ado, kiddos ages and interests to her. Um, and she will help find the perfect chapter books for your budding readers. We have great books like Billy B and Hey Jack. The author of these books actually had a dyslexic son. And um, she wrote these books to have no overlapping words, no sentences that carry on to the next page. And they are really simplified readers for new um, in, in, intro readers. Billy also has Billy Bee Mysteries, which are some of my favorite novels. Those are probably recommended for ages seven or eight and up. These are a new series that we have. This is called The Extraordinary Life. We have Anne Frank, Neil Armstrong, um, Katherine Johnson, Rosa Parks. These are incredible stories and they have some graphics in there, but they're really great reads um, for ages six and up. Of course, independent or with a parent, you decide based on your child's reading level. Lightning Girl, this author actually just spoke to us at our convention and she wrote these books so her daughter could see a superhero that looked like her. So these books are about the superhero named Lightning Girl and it's a really great series. Vlad, the World's Worst Vampire is a series I didn't think I would love, but I read this book and it's adorable. He is truly everything a vampire should not be. They are hilarious. They have some pictures on the pages and you can decide for yourself if your child would like those books. Hotel Flamingo is the last series I'm gonna show you right now. These books are about this little girl who takes over a hotel and her um, aunt left it to her and it's dilapidated. She has to do a lot of work to get it back up and running and um, starting to help other people. They're funny stories, but they're also a really good learning stories with lots of different life events going on. Number eight is baby and toddler books. We have so many great books, like these tummy time books with a mirror. We have some other fold out books. These have um, flaps in them to get those little hands moving. 
Another book that I love in the Baby and Toddler series are these books with wheels. So much fun for your little one and they have a real story inside so they're perfect for nap times and bedtimes. Don't tickle the dinosaur bear. Um, we have a couple of these books. They are so fun because what toddler doesn't love to do what they're told not to do. They make funny sounds and at the, fun, at the end they have a dance party. We have a couple other music books with these little silver discs. You press them once and the music starts and you press them again and the music stops. You won't want to stop it though. It's so, so calming. We have calming music book and we also have quiet time music book which are regulars before nap time at my house. Some other baby and toddler books that I love is this Are You There Little Puppy series. We have lots of Are You There Little books and they have these big board book flaps and you are constantly playing hide and seek looking for the animal inside. Those are just precious books. And as your toddler grows up, you might want to start reading our phonics readers to them. This is a great way to start getting some intros introducing some new sounds, some alphabet, and they already teach comprehension by having a problem and a solution inside of these stories. We have a great first reader set called the First Reading Library. I encourage you to take a look at that if you have a little one at home who has an interest in learning how to read or you're homeschooling. It's helped countless number of kids learn how to read. Number nine are our completely fun books. We have so many engaging books and activities um, that your child can enjoy in the summer, but also in those cold winter months indoors. This is a bug matching game. We have a few different matching games, but they come with a book about the bugs or the animal that you choose, as well as all these little cards and a couple different games that you can play with those boards. Magic painting are such a hit. These are done with water. You just simply pull out the brush, dip it in water. They can be done from toddlers on up to adults and they do look different depending on the age range that does it. So they're super, super fun and really beautiful works of art that your child will be proud of. We have some little coloring books. These are great with big blank spaces, um, acknowledging where to start, where to color and where not to. We also have these fingerprint activities as well as stamps. Don't miss these books. They're so, so much fun to use your fingers, follow, learn to follow instructions, and get some art done each day. Number 10 are our reference books. And Us Born Books and More does reference books really, really well. Take a look. This is our children's encyclopedia. It even has some QR links. These quick links take the guesswork out of research. They are linked to a proven safe web websites that provide lots of fun and interesting information for your child. Another book that I love right now are these Turn and Learn books. This one's about our world. These are for older children, but they are, have a super fun element of that turning the, the wheel to learn a little more about animal adaptations, deserts, rainforests, Arctic, the polar, uh, the Arctic or polar animals, savanna, and more. We have another one of these on weather. We have books about architecture. This is a scribble book. It is time for them to learn some about architecture. It's incredible with all of the history that it teaches through activities and more. Understanding economics, we have some um, uh, managing your money books as well. These are great for ages nine and up. Um, I really like how they talk about some adult things, but in kid lingo. And the last one I'm going to show you right now is called That's a Job. I like sports. We also have I like animals. Two popular um, likes of children these days, but how to turn it into a job someday. The sports one specifically I would have loved to use in my fifth grade classroom it has tons of occupations I never would have thought of that go along with sports. For instance, a swimming instructor, community sports coordinator, um, referee, sports journalist, sports photographer, sports marketing executive, and so many more. Thank you so much for watching UBM's top 10 series. I hope you found one that your child will love.